All right, so today we're going to focus on some more advanced techniques uh, for TIG running out of position and prep for Everlast is actually opening up a school here in Kansas City. We want to offer some higher level TIG classes doing like some D17 uh, spec classes. And so one of those things is introducing you guys into some more advanced techniques than we have in the past. So today we're going to be focused on the horizontal and some little tips and tricks to fix common mistakes running this position. All right, so we're on the Typhoon 230 today. Nothing super fancy. 171 amps, 161 hertz, 35% balance. Let's get over to the plate and start running. So we're gonna make this first run right down the center. The torch angle is perpendicular to the plate. We're right in the center of the joint, adding filler rod right in the center of the joint, just like we're running flat. Now what's gonna happen is our filler rod's actually gonna sag to our bottom plate and all of our penetration is going to be biased to that bottom plate. So that's where everything's wanting to run. So this first run, you know, this is like someone that I typically see trying to run this like they run flat. A Little bit of a mistake. Next one, we're going to change it up. So now on the second run, um, you know, knowing that from that first one, everything sagged down, I'm going to move everything up. I'm going to focus my heat on the top plate and my filler rod on the top plate, thinking, oh, okay, the last run, only my bottom plate tied in. Let's move everything up. So then we're gonna tie in the top and bottom plate. The problem with this is that doesn't always work. And as we go to the back side, you're gonna see now all my penetrations on this top plate only and not on the bottom plate. So you, we biased everything too much. So you can see on this first run where we were running right down the center, everything fell. There's actually, this looks like it's tied in, but from the top, you can tell this top plate's not tied in. So running right down the center, everything sagged down to the bottom plate. So on the second run, we decided, okay, let's adjust everything up and let it sag down. Well, you can see I adjusted up and all my penetrations on this top plate. So that doesn't always work. All right, so now on this last run, I'm actually gonna change my torch angle to be biased towards the top plate, but run right down the center of the joint. I'm gonna add my filler rod on the top side. So what we're gonna do, we're tying in that bottom plate, but we have our torch lean towards the top to tie it in, and then we're letting our filler rod sag just a little bit to tie in that bottom plate. So instead of focusing everything right in the center and having it sag down, or focusing everything up top and it not drop down, we're gonna kinda split the difference between the two and make a good run. All right, so on this final run, I actually have my torch pointed up towards my top plate but I have the tungsten biased towards the bottom plate. So I'm tying in this bottom plate, but my heat's really directed at the top plate. So that helps them tie in. And then I'm adding my filler rod on the leading edge of the toe, but on the top side of it. So that's adding the filler rod up top and letting it sag just a little bit. So my bead becomes a lot more uniform top and bottom. And my penetration on the back side is a lot more uniform because I've got the tungsten biased down, but pointed up. So it's tying in both plates a lot better. All right, so here we've got our three runs. Again, this first run was running right down the center, filler rod right down the center. The second run, we biased both our tungsten and our filler rod to the top plate, hoping it would sag down. This third run, we had the torch pointed up, but biased the tungsten towards the bottom plate and then added our filler rod on the top side. So you can see, significant difference between the three. One was bottom plate only, top plate only, and then proper filler rod and torch angle, boom, right down the center, perfect penetration. You know, proper filler rod uh, addition and your torch angle plays a huge role in your penetration on these out of position welds. The same goes for flat, but it, it's even more pronounced and the technique's a little bit different on these uh, this out of position stuff. So next time you come across some, some horizontal, there's a couple things to think about. Hopefully you can run a better weld. I'm Jesse McCollum with Everlast Welders. Remember, weld mean, weld green.